In this video, I wanna show you how to play the most broken comp in TFT right now. Yeah, no surprise here. We have a Void. It's literally at 4.09 win rate. You see it's the highest one if you look in Diamond. Even if we go to Masters right here, it's still at the top. And it's kinda crazy because this comp, uh, yeah, it's uh, really easy to play. Basically, the only thing you need to play this comp is you need uh, one uh, a Void spat. Because there's seven uh, void units, you need that last one to hit the Baron and Nasher. And uh, that's uh, what makes this comp uh, pop up like crazy. Uh, so there's not really that hard to itemize it either. You just build Kaisa. I like this item, she autos a lot, so static is nice. Uh, other than that, just an Archangel because she scales up. You're pretty tanky, right? You have this uh, help in Nasher and a lot of frontline units. And then you can just pair it with, you know, a uh, crit the UL gauntlet. So she crits with AP she gets from uh, Archangel. But you can really build whatever on her. But I think this is like BIS. Uh, and then Belvet. You basically you slam any AD item. Same story goes here. But I think these are like the BIS. You really want the uh, Bloodthirster for that healing. And uh, every like heal she gets, she gets uh, more uh, HP. She increases her uh, maximum health by 50% uh, by each uh, kill in her ulti or something like that. So uh, you know what, the blood cursor, it gives you a shield based on your health. So you know, if she gets more HP, she gets a very big uh, shield, right? Other than that, you just take uh, a random unit like Shen, you get Bastion, or you can play like Yasu, just any unit really like. This is just a random flex unit. So you basically only play the comp when you get the chance to get an emblem or something like that. Because if you're not getting 8 void, I feel like there's no point in playing this. Like the Baron Nasher is so broken compared to like the Rift Herald. So uh, you really just need a spat and uh, then you just uh, eco the entire game, try to stay alive. Uh, and uh, get to level 8 because then you hit this big power spike so you just need to somehow find a belvet and then you basically are secured a top 4 so without further ado let's get straight into the video so every time i've gotten the chance to play this comp i've basically just uh, forced it because uh, yeah it's uh, pretty broken uh, the stats uh, don't lie as they uh, never do so uh, yeah boom with those uh, show and with that uh, and Mals are right there, so pretty good start, but uh, if I don't hit a Void Emblem, it's kind of not even worth it to try to play it, because uh, yeah, with a Rift Herald, it's gonna suck. Uh, so right there, I just uh, sold everything, made 10, just get that Econ stacking already, pretty good stuff. It's pretty nice to, if you get the show gap early as well, boom, 20 gold by the way. If you get the show gap, you can start stacking on those minions so he gets uh, more health. Because every kill he gets more health, right? So Orn, I've started to play this. I mean, he's broken. You just get these Orn items all the time for free. And uh, yeah, better than most augments. Has a really good win rate with Orn on pretty much everyone as well. So it's a pretty safe pick. You can choose between items so it fits to your comp. And here I went for the... Black Lever. I think this one has a pretty bad win rate, this item. Uh, but win rates aren't uh, everything. Uh, because, uh, yeah, if you can make it work with a specific comp, it's gonna be good, uh, even if the win rate is low. And I feel like if I just play Kai'Sa, which I'm going to, if I'm playing this uh, Void comp right, uh, then, uh, you know, Black Lever is gonna proc on everyone when she ultis. So that's basically the plan here. I just played on a random unit like a Malsar for now, and once I hit my Kai'Sa, ooh, the entire enemy team is gonna be shredded, and they're gonna lose all the armor and the MR, and uh, yeah, that's pretty nice stuff. So I'm just playing this random 2-star, uh, what's he called, Samira right now, because uh, yeah, 2-stars are pretty broken in the early game, even if she gets no trait, she still uh, does like the most damage, so uh, if you get 2 stars in the early game, just uh, play them in most cases, gonna be pretty broken, right? Uh, so here I'm just taking this uh, belt right here, why not? 
wasn't really that much else to take so you might wonder right now why am i going for a void if i said you shouldn't play this comp without an emblem it's because uh, it was the start of this game where at 3-5 i believe you get a, a free emblem it's like the starting portal so i have a guaranteed uh, void emblem even without having a spat or augment so yeah that's why i can force this avoid comp it's probably gonna be contested though because uh, yeah i don't think i'm the only one that's uh, thinking about it but uh, i mean a man can hope that i'm uncontested but uh, probably not right since uh, this comp is pretty busted so onto these uh, minions right here didn't really get anything uh, that spectacular so we got um, a ship there it's usually a very good item on uh, Kaisa, right? But I already have this uh, MR and Shred with my Black Cleaver, so no point in going a Shiv. So I'm instead, I'm just going for, uh, what's it called? The Spear of Sojin, because uh, the Spear of Sojin is gonna make me cast earlier and more, which is gonna proc the Black Cleaver, so I get even more value out of it. So it's basically like a Shiv on uh, steroids, right? Um, yeah, I guess it's just one item here again. Nah, never mind. I took Infusion, just remembered. So we have Sojin and uh, we have uh, Spear of... Uh, we have Spear of Sojin and we have Infusion. So we have so much mana right now. That's just gonna make me my Kai'Sa ulti a lot. Which uh, means their enemy team is gonna be shredded and uh, sundered for the entire fight, basically. So... Uh, you know, you need to find those things that work well together, and uh, yeah, these uh, work together really well. And I think Baron is based on mana as well, so he's gonna cast more. I'm not sure though, but if that's the case, then yeah, we're gonna get more casts on the Baron as well. And his ult is just broken, so infusion with Baron seems pretty nuts to be honest. Uh, onto the carousel right here. I'm down for, to be honest, a sunfire. I want to get that anti-heal and... Uh, yeah, I just like going for sunfire. Like, when you're unsure of what to build, I always just go for a random sunfire. Because it's always gonna be nice to have that anti-heal and have that burn. You, I mean, you can't really go wrong on that. And you can slam it on, like, whichever unit. Because I didn't really know what to build right here. I don't really want to build so much tank items on some random shitters like uh, a 1 cost Shoga or a 2 cost uh, Kassadin because uh, they're weak already. So already just build a Sunfire so we get that value coming. Oh, that's some nice uh, Rex size though. Don't mind if I do. So I'm just uh, rolling a bit here as uh, why not. So onto this fight, we used to burn that redemption, so pretty nice stuff going on. So yeah, this is gonna be a really easy fight. Yeah, he's just dead right here. So now my game plan is actually really simple. I just need to save my icon to get to level 8, because uh, then we're gonna be at 8 void, where we have the chance to play it. If we're not level 8, we can't even fit in 8 void. And we really need to, you know, uh, get... Uh, at least six voids in the right here so i'm just rolling a bit trying to find my void units and boom there we go found the velcos so now we're basically at the uh, six void right here gonna replace that malsar uh, to put in my uh, kaisa and uh, yeah let's see what this kaisa can do with these items see she just insta cast hits everyone with that uh, black lever so i'm really liking this uh, kaisa build with the Sojin and the infusion like she's gonna pop up like crazy and we have some very nice frontline for her uh, to kill everything with that rift herald now so i'm very strong almost lost this fight but uh, ooh, this guy i used they clutched it out in the end so look at that damage almost 8k uh, so this is a pretty easy choice right we're just going straight for the void i don't even need to think about that <laughs> it's like we're going 8 void no matter what augment I get, it's pretty much always the right call to just go for that augment. Like, what's gonna be better than that? My entire team is void, right? Uh, so now my only problem, really, is getting a 2-star Kai'Sa, as well as uh, finding a Belva. So we 
kind of need to high roll a Bellweb somehow, and then we're gonna be good. So if we can get her on the Carousel or that would be very nice. But I'm just gonna play for levels now, try to get to level 8, maybe 9, depending on how healthy I am. But I think I need a like Kaisa 2 star if I'm gonna be able to get to 9 though. So we'll see how it turns out. Here I try to just level up, put in uh, this random show gap. It makes my Rift Herald get more HP and AP. Because, uh, yeah, Void is... Uh, it bonuses the, like, uh, Herald, Baron, the more stars you have. So, just putting in that show is gonna make me uh, really a lot more tanky. Uh, so, I only lost, like, one Econ from that as well. So, very worth. Might even have won me that fight. Oh, speaking of uh, Belvefs, by the way, you know what uh, I want right here? I'm uh, the last on the carousel though, so yeah, we're never getting that Belvef, I'm afraid. But it's all good. We'll just have to go for some other shenanigans. So I decided to just take a bl Blood Purser right here, because uh, we're gonna want that on Belvef. Uh, and until we find the Belvef, I'm just gonna play it on Yasuo. Yeah, so gives us, uh, you know, some more attack speed for Kai'Sa, so he's okay to play until I find Belveth. Like a nice item holder. He CCs and does some damage, so it's not bad, right? Boom, onto this round. Actually found a Kai'Sa and a Yasuo. So I could roll here for like 2 star Kai'Sa and uh, all that, but it's really just one unit I'm looking for, so I'd rather just greed out, try to go to level 9. It's gonna be a mini round here, so we can scale up our money as well. Because we really want that Baron, because I'm actually stronger than this guy, if you look past that he has the, the Baron, so... We're gonna need that 8 Void, so we're gonna need Belva. Um, so, yeah, I might get Kai'Sa too, but the Baron is gonna be more valuable. I'm so healthy that I can greed here, honestly. Got some pretty awkward items here, not gonna lie. Uh, so I decided to just do the best that I could. So I just built these random items. Whatever. Uh, any frontline is like pretty nice, because then our units tank instead of Baron, so Baron can kill them. So I like having Baron pretty protected in the middle, so he doesn't die, because you really want him to get that big cast off. Because um, like, it's whatever if you let your little Voidling or the Rift the, or the Herald to die early. It's like, they don't really do that much. They're pretty much tanks. But Baron, he actually does a lot of damage. So I like to keep him protected. But now we actually hit 9. So he's insta-leveled up and uh, rolled to try to hit that Belva. And we actually found her really early. So that's very nice. So now we have that Baron in and uh, yeah. You can just look how strong I am right now. That was a big power spike. In this case, even playing like a double trouble uh, Pistana. So that's a pretty strong board, but we're gonna beat him later. Uh, I haven't tweaked my comp yet. So just to protect this Baron a bit more, <laughs> we're gonna put him in the middle now instead of uh, in the corner there. That's probably why I lost before, by the way. Because I didn't protect my... Uh, Baron, but I kind of inted. I didn't put in eight void in time, so I got the herald. Happens, you know. Uh, so we're probably gonna lose this. We're gonna be weak. This is uh, a Baron dip if I ever seen it. So uh, kind of unfortunate, but it happens, right? Onto this carousel. Uh, I mean, I'm just down for another Belveth so we can get that two star as early as possible. So. Uh, if I get the chance to take it, ooh, I don't. <laughs> so then we're just taking this um, tank item to protect the Baron. So I'm just rolling for uh, repair here. Because I already have burn with Mechano. Or not, I don't need Mechano Swarm is what I'm trying to say. Because <laughs> I have Sunfire. And I don't really care about Shrink because I have uh, a Black Lever. So the only turret that's gonna be valuable for me is the repair one. So I can just have this unit in the front, the turret, try to protect my Baron a bit. Uh, 
So that's what we're going for. But right now I'm just gonna find a two-star Kai'Sa and uh, a two-star Belve before I try to go for turret upgrades. Because uh, that's gonna be more valuable. So we're gonna wait on the repair matic for a bit, right? Ooh, but we're getting low here. I really need a Belve and uh, ooh, okay, we finally found it. So that's a big spike right there. So it's the last time this guy beat us by a mile. So let's see if we can beat him this time now with the upgraded board and everything. Yeah, look at that. The Baron popping up. Stunning the Tristana. Yeah, very nice. See, the Baron did more than my Belveth and uh, Kai'Sa. I mean, right, surely gonna nerf this form. So uh, be sure to play it if you get a chance before it's uh, nerfed. That's my prediction. So let's see if I'm right. Now I can start buying some repair matic because I'm really just looking for a two star uh, Kaisa at this point. So I might as well just buy this random repair thingy. Why not? I should put a turret in the front and finally did. So that's gonna protect my Baron. I uh, decided to just get the last item on uh, Belveth. So she's gonna do a lot of more damage here. Yeah, just look at this Belveth, man. Holy. Popping up like crazy right here. So Belveth versus Belveth right here. Yeah, we have some uh, better items. And the uh, Kai'Sa that's alive. So... I'm not finding this Kai'Sa though. I found a high merding at least, so I guess we look for this. Just to make our turret more tanky the next turn. Kinda awkward to play a one story Kai'Sa though. But uh, what can you do? She's uh, very contested this game. It's like two or three Kai'Sa players alive right now. Ooh, now it's only one left though. <laughs> so we might find a Kai'Sa now, fingers crossed. If the game doesn't end before it. So we beat this guy last time, so it shouldn't be a problem, I hope. Now we got the stronger Belve as well. And with that giant slayer, she just instantly killed that tank. So that's very good. Ooh, pretty close though. Let's see if uh, Belvet can uh, pop up. Or, yeah. Kaisa did at least. <laughs> so what item do we want here? I mean, I'm down for another... The right play there was probably just take another Sunfire so we can burn both units on both sides. Yeah, this... Uh, what's it called? Infinite Edge not gonna do anything. So I put away my timer here to try to roll for Kaisa, but it didn't hit, so... Uh, that is a feels bad moment right here. But what can you do, right? So we're just gonna put this on uh, Belkos, because uh, Yasuo is gonna die before he puts up any damage. So on to the last fight, win or lose. Put your predictions right here. I'm betting on the Void Pump. I'm betting for myself, of course. And it seems that I won. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more TFT Set 9 content. Peace out.